Recently, we made a video called Would You Leave Me If? If? And it's my version and whether I'd leave my husband in certain scenarios. And a lot of you guys got upset when I said I'd leave him when he would convert out of Islam. So <laughs> let me explain why. Let's start with, do I love my husband unconditionally? The answer is, yes, I do. Yeah. I love him unconditionally. Guys, you have no idea. I loved this guy even before he converted to Islam. I loved him to the point where I decided I was not going to get married to anyone else if it wasn't him. It was no one. Does that mean that I was going to marry him in that kind of condition? No, because he was not Muslim. For me, Islam prioritizes everything. My love for God is number one. And then my love for Prophet Sallallahu is number two. Okay, so for me, my religion takes priority over everything. Even my own life, my own desires, everything. So no, that doesn't mean I, I don't love my husband. If he converts out of Islam during our marriage phase, I won't be able to live with him because we just wouldn't be able to get along anymore. What a lot of you guys may not realize is that before you get married to the person, you talk about certain conditions that you would need into having the relationship. So for example, Mubina told me that she wants to marry a Muslim man. I told Mubina, I want to marry a Muslim woman. So if someone was to convert out in the relationship, it would affect our whole family dynamic and structure. We personally want to raise our kids with the same faith. So if one of us has a different faith, it could potentially lead things to be confusing. It's just not a dynamic that both of us prefer. So, you know, the reality is guys, faith can go up and down. There could be points where like either of us have doubts about our faith, but if someone took the step to convert out and they did that for an extended period of time, then it would be too difficult to live together. Our lifestyles would be different. Our beliefs would clash. And then if we have children, we wouldn't want to raise them in an environment with two different beliefs. That's just our preference. I know there are interfaith marriages. It's just not something that we prefer for our marriage. Yeah, and it's not to say that we don't love each other. We'll stop loving yeah. each other in that kind of scenario. It's just that we won't be able to live with one another because even though love is conditional, relationship and marriage is not unconditional, guys. Yes. It is conditional to a degree because you would legit have to live with a person now. It's not going to be easy for you to live with somebody that you don't agree with, you know? It's hard. So just saying this is something that we prefer for ourselves doesn't mean our love is unconditional. So now we have a question for you guys. Have you ever been in a position where you had to end a relationship with someone, but you still had feelings for them or you still love them? Let us know your thoughts.